All right, I'm gonna install this Haltech cam gauge where this vent is. So I'm gonna start by taking off this lower piece and see if it'll fit. All right, I got the vent off. Vents off. I got the panel off. I'm gonna put the vent in, I mean the gauge in right there. So let me get it out. All right, I got the gauge where the vent used to be. Just bent the bracket a little bit to make it snug. Now I'm gonna run the wire. It just plugs right into the Haltech ECU. So I'm gonna run the wire behind this up here and then through there and plug it in. I, I had to pull the radio and the climate control unit out so I could run the wire behind it through here and to here. So now I'm just gonna make this gauge fit better right here. I'm making a video, baby. I like your helmet. Thank you. You're so pretty. Thanks. But yeah, I'm gonna make this fit better in here. So, I'm just gonna find something to go right here and right here so, the, so this pushes against it more. So it doesn't rattle around in there. And then hoping that I'm not gonna have to trim any of the duct. I'm hoping it fits. So, all right, keep you updated. Okay, I got the gauge in where the vent used to be. Let's see. Good clearance <clears throat> when I'm driving. It's in my eyesight. Keeps the sun glare off of it. So now I just have to put this back together and uh, we'll show you how it looks when it's all fired up. All right, <clears throat> got that back up. Um, this is the tuning cable for the Haltech. I just have it behind the uh, ashtray right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this slack down here, all the slack down here, so I can still put the ashtray in, but when I have Harvey make any touch-ups, we can just pull the ashtray out, and he has all this room to plug it into his laptop for uh, tuning. So we're almost buttoned up, and we're gonna fire it up. All right, I got everything put together. Got the can gauge hooked up right now. It's set to read my air fuel ratio. Um, the tuner had to set it a little rich at idle because I have a sticking injector. So that's why you can see it's around 13 to one at idle. But anything above about 1300 RPMs is 14 and a half to one. And my idle is still a little high. Again, that's because of the sticking injector, just, just to smooth it out. We will be going to ID 1050s here in a second and uh, we'll be running E85. But yeah, got everything back together. Got the uh, diff control, the Altessa controller right here. I think I'm just gonna have it stick. I'm gonna get some double-sided tape and stick it there. And this can gauge is really cool. Anything the ECU reads, I can set this up to read. Just flip through everything. You just download the um, gauge art app on your phone and then set it up however you want it if you want you know multiple readings on one like now I just have just one just the AFR but would have you know my AFR boost all the temperatures I can set it up however I want it with the gauge or with the door close the gauge has nice clearance right in my vision no sun glare I like it. If you guys have an aftermarket ECU, you should look into 
this gauge, it was uh, 350 bucks, and it plugs right into the Hall Tech. All right, got the gauge in. Skylight's running good. Uh, the weather's getting nice, so we're almost ready for the summer. Just gotta get to the ID 1050s in. Get the E85 running. Be ready to go.